What's up, CFO gang? It's your boy, Jay Tuck. Real Cowboys fans stand up. And yo, today I want to talk about one of my favorite prospects that the Dallas Cowboys has picked up as an undrafted free agent. That's Darrell Johnson, outside linebacker slash defensive end out of the University of Liberty. And if you see right here, man, we, we keep our receipts around here on CFO Sports. So on April 19th, I said five prospects nobody is talking about, but you should research. And Darrell Johnson, linebacker out of Liberty, was definitely one of those prospects. And as you see on April 29th, the Dallas Cowboys picked him up out of the University of Liberty. And I'm excited to see what Dan Quinn can do with this type of player. Now, when you look at him, he is 6'3", 237 pounds, ran a 4'6", 9", at his pro day. So nothing too sexy when it comes to his speed, but he gets off the edge quickly. He's very explosive. He had 30 pressures, 25 tackles for loss last year. So he was in the backfield a lot, a lot last year. 17 quarterback hurries. I think he actually had like five sacks in one game. I think that was a bowl game versus Toledo. So he went kamikaze and went super sane in that game. And so, you know, I first came across this prospect last year, actually, when I was watching Malik Willis. And I was like, who's that kid? And he is definitely a kid who I'm going to be watching closely in camp but also in preseason so let's go ahead and get into the film so you'll see him right here number 11 now of course he ain't gonna have that number in dallas but you, know, you see him he has a he has a sleek build it's like i said he's only 237 pounds so he is very light but you'll see that he packs a mean punch and you'll see it right here with this bull rush boom driving his feet driving his feet so driving that tackle back he is a very high motor guy off this edge but as we go through the film here, you'll see, you know, where I want him to improve. And I think that Dan Quinn can help him with. But like I said, just for his explosiveness of him getting off the edge, he gets off the ball quick. And even though he's light, he packs a punch. So here's what I'll say. So, you know, at Liberty, he was a stand up in, right? He didn't put his hand in the dirt. So I feel like when it comes to the Cowboys, I mean, he's an undrafted free agent, of course, right? So he has a huge mountain to climb before he gets playing time. But if he does find a way, you know, outside of special teams, I think he's going to be more of a weak side linebacker in the 4-3. Now, if you tuned into our show Monday night, we talked about Dan Quinn. Like, this team looks very, you know, 3 fours, right? So he might be a 3 fours kind of outside linebacker. But more than likely, if you're going with the prototypical 4-3, he is going to be probably your weak side linebacker. And that will probably be the ceiling if he's able to grow into that role. But you can definitely blitz him off the edge in many different instances. Let's play right here. Once again, you'll see him bull rushing. Now, he doesn't have a complete toolbox, right? So I feel like that's going to be the huge area of improvement, especially for Dan Quinn. He comes down. He gets engaged. He creates separation. But it's just that second rip, that hand battle that we always talk about. He just doesn't showcase that on a consistent basis. So that's where I think that Dan Quinn is really going to be able to you know, help him improve. It's just the hand combat game. So he'll come down, he'll bull rush, bull rush, bull rush. Now, you know, of course, at the NFL level, these tackles and tight ends are going to be a whole lot bigger than what you're probably facing at Old Dominion. So you're not going to be able to bull rush everybody. So with that slender build that he has, he's going to have to add a little bit more to his, his weaponry. And we'll see on this play right here. Once again, just another bull rush. But once again, like I said, just watch how he gets off the ball. He gets off the ball. Boom. Not much wasted movement. Comes downhill, engages, push, push, drives, right? And gets off and makes, you know, pretty much a half sack, right? It's just a tackle. But like I said, he comes downhill quick. And that's what I loved about him. That's what really popped for me last year. Like when I said, when I saw him, when I was watching Malik Willis, like, who's this kid just jumping off the ball like that, right? But like I say, it's only 236 pounds. The Cowboys are probably going to want to add some size on him. Like I said, more than likely, he's probably going to start off just cutting his teeth on special teams. But, you know, on this channel, you know, I really want to expose you guys to players that, you know, you're not going to see a lot besides in preseason, right? But we're going to be doing live streams. We're going to be doing a lot of shows during preseason and also camp, right? You know, the starters ain't going to be playing too much. So when we get to the third quarter and fourth quarter, there's going to be some not some guys that we definitely keep our eyes on. And these are the types of prospects that's going to be getting their reps late in the preseason, especially, you know, that third game 
and you know you know in that that dress rehearsal so once again here off the edge off the edge off the edge quick now this is what i want to see a lot more of this dips how he dips right here especially going against bigger tackles i feel like this is going to be you know a, a huge asset to him at the nfl level just get that bend and make these tackles these six six tackles these six seven tackles really bend their hips and get lower because like i said once you get off the ball and you get off the ball quick it really puts you in advantage as a pass rusher it's just once you get engagement what's going to be your next course of action so this is going to be a quick start like dip that shoulder get low bend that hoop which we talk about you know if you watched our will mcdonald video who became a new york jet bend the hoop bend the hoop right so i feel like there's a lot of things that you know coach quinn can definitely work with them on but as far as just as a pure skill set it's there get dip all right so this is where you kind of see some of that outside linebacker is even at liberty he dropped in coverage you know a little bit um also play a little bit of man coverage as well so you know like i said even though he ran a four six nine that's just straight line speed but i feel like you know you can watch him he can turn and run turn and run get his shoulder square good back pedal you know so like i feel like he has the tool set there i mean I, i'm ideally you mean you're not going to match him up on you know any shifty wide receivers of course right but i feel like as far as just the outside linebacker that can drop in space and do a few different things whether that's in the hook or you know drop out to the flats and even maybe run with some of these tight ends i feel like he's going to be capable to do that he's going to have to grow into that role if that's how you're going to utilize him now as far as a defensive end as an edge setter i really don't see that it's going to be you know how he's going to make his money at the next level but like i said he's feisty he's feisty and like i said even though he's small he's scrappy now he keeps his outside hand free the running back is able to bounce out now it looks like he gave up a big run play on this possession but it was a hole you know what i'm saying so you know i like the way he's able to keep his outside leverage and we'll see that here on the next clip as well you know but he's just not going to be your edge setter like i said he really played with his hand in the dirt you know he's going to be your stand-up guy pass rush kind of guy in certain packages at most and then maybe work his way into be like an outside linebacker maybe later in his career but i definitely like what i see from Darrell johnson because he he has that pop he comes downhill and i hear here you see him keep the outside hand free holding down the line of scrimmage right this is textbook right textbook great pop boom yeah, he learned his lesson in the last play, right? So there you go. But you're not going to ask him to do that a lot, to be honest with you, just on certain instances. So, Boom. Good extension. Keep it square. Good fight. That's a good rep right there. Um, on this play, it's kind of show, showcasing once again just how he gets off the ball explosiveness it's quick he's quick he's quick his first step boom off to the races coming down head down bull rush like i said if he just had a swipe a rip you know just just give me something else give me something else right because offensive tackle especially at the nfl level they're going to pick up on this and they're going to set that and anchor and hold you off course right give them give me a little hips give me a little hips chop those hands you know what i'm saying but as far as it's coming downhill bam it's right it's right there it's right there but what's your second move what's your second go-to that is going to be where i want to see the improvement when it comes to him fight 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 so you know you've been seeing the clips of micah parsons doing some boxing right that's what it's all comes down to that hand that hand battle especially as an edge rusher boom you're engaged all right hands on he has his hands on him right extend it but how are you gonna get those hands off What's the, what's the next course of action, right? Just pushing, pushing, bull rushing. You'll, you'll be able to cut it versus a few tackles here and there. But yeah, I just feel like with this size, especially he doesn't have the longest arm length either. You know, you have to find something else to get to. Get into your bag, get deep into your bag, get deep into your bag. But I do like him playing violent and coming downhill. That's a start. Boom. 
And then also in the run game, right, like I said, he's not going to be your quote-unquote one defender, but he'll get dirty. He'll put his shoulder down. He's not afraid of contact, even though he's a lighter guy, right? He doesn't shy away from contact. So he's going to put his head down. He's going to get dirty, right? Like I said, he made a lot of plays in the backfield. So he was just around the ball. So that's something that definitely jumps when you watch him on film, you know. But, you know, if you have to take on combo blocks and, you know, pulling backside guards, which he did here, right, he held his ground. You have this backside guard pulling, right, held his ground right there, you know, solid. Shoulder square, didn't get off his base too much and fought through it, even being 236 pounds. Let's watch it again. Boom, backside guard pulls, maintains contact, shoulder square. Good. And let's play right here. It's going to show separation, keeps himself dis disengaged as well. Right, like I said, he doesn't have the best arm length, right, but keeps himself dis disengaged and comes down and makes the tackle. So like I said, he he had he's a mold of clay, right? He's a mold of clay. It's gonna take some some molding, right? But I feel like you know ultimately, if he's able to kind of just work his way into special teams and create a name for himself in camp, I think the Cowboys are going to like him, y'all. I think they're gonna like him. I would would not be surprised if he's a guy that they keep and try to stash on the practice squad. I don't think he's gonna get released, but we have to see. Like there's a lot of people competing at camp, so you know. And then once again here. Coming downhill, just like to see another move. Doesn't have another move, but he pursues the ball. So, like I said, overall, I like this prospect. He's definitely going to be a player I am going to be watching. Like I said, he's probably going to be a linebacker at the Dallas Cowboys, um, the way that Dan Quinn likes to run his defense. But I'm going to be watching him closely in camp in preseason. Him and Isaiah Land is going to be fun to watch. He's definitely going to be a player I'm going to be excited about. We're going to be talking about on the show. Probably frequently. You'll see right there, even though it's a screen, it's the burst of him getting off the ball. But I'm excited about Darrell Johnson, outside linebacker slash defensive end out of Liberty, man. So it's your boy, J Tuck. Follow me on all social media platforms at JTuck151. I appreciate all the support. Subscribe to the new YouTube channel. We got a lot of new subscribers. We got about three more undrafted free agent guys I want to drop. And then we're going to circle back to some of our star players and really take a look at them, man. So you definitely don't want to miss out. I want everyone to stay safe, stay blessed, stay encouraged, and go Cowboys. Peace.